Matt Sampson here with hurricane specialist Carl Parker. Carl, today's the 233rd anniversary of the deadliest hurricane ever. Yeah, that's right. It happened on October 10th in 1780. And obviously in 1780, we had no way of knowing that a hurricane was coming. Right. So it caught people off guard. Now, business was booming in the Caribbean at this time. So there were a lot of people there. Surprisingly, this storm came in. It was a devastating storm. It might have had 200 mile per hour wind. In Barbados, 4,500 were, were killed, destroyed every home there. Also destroyed nearly every home on St. Vincent. Wow. In St. Lucia, 6,000 people were killed. And then also, this was during the time of the Revolutionary War. And so the French were fighting with us. And for that reason, they had a bunch of ships there. 40 ships capsized, 4,000 sailors were killed. And then in Martinique itself, 9,000 people were killed because of a 25-foot storm surge. So this was a devastating storm. It really turned uh, the hi history of the Caribbean around. 22,000 people killed in total, and they had been going through this period of economic prosperity prior I was going to say, how did this affect the economy it of the Caribbean? It had a huge effect because, as I say, the sugar business was booming there, and then after this there was a tremendous economic downturn, totally changed the trajectory of economic and social affairs there in the Caribbean. Have we seen anything like these numbers in recent history? You know, we have because uh, Hurricane Mitch hit Honduras and Nicaragua in 1998 and they had a similar loss of life. It's not known ex exactly how many people were killed, but it could have been at least 12,000. It may have been as high as 20,000 people killed. So it can still happen in less developed countries. All right. Thanks, Carl. Yep.